A lot of that oil is now drifting along the Gulf Coast. One model shows the oil will coat Florida and make its way to North Carolina. That prediction was made in Rio Rancho. News 13's Jeff Todd is live with more. It was a joint venture between scientists at Los Alamos National Laboratories and a supercomputer paid for by tax dollars. It shows that the oil still has a long way to go. They wanted to model, simulate and model how the BP oil spill would spread. For years, scientists in New Mexico have been using this supercomputer housed at the Intel plant in Rio Rancho to study oceanic currents. So when the BP oil spill happened all the way back in April, the scientists made a slight change to their model and added oil. This is a scientific and an environmental application that is important to obviously all of us. They say it's not 100% accurate. It predicts the oil flow could reach halfway up the eastern seaboard and out into the Atlantic. It took the Encanto supercomputer just a few hours to create this model. From a 3D perspective, how is this moving? The problem uh, is divided up into small portions. And if you were to run that on your desk side computer or your laptop, it would take you about five or six, maybe ten years to complete the, uh, the run. The Intel computer, owned and operated by the state, is the equivalent of about 1,800 high-quality laptops running simultaneously. When you look at all of the data points that you have to put in and the large amount of computing, you have to use a su supercomputer to analyze that and also to give you an output that you can understand. And experts say understanding the disaster is vital for New Mexico. What goes on in, in Florida and this tremendous uh, disaster from the oil spill will trickle down to New Mexico. Several experts we talked with said if deep sea oil exploration is put on hold, then we could see much more exploration and production here in New Mexico. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Now, the supercomputer is the fastest computer not run by the federal government. The state says it has brought in $100 million in investments and grants to our state.